What's up everybody and welcome to a new video. So I posted on my community and asked if you guys want me to react to the Cassius diss track. So I'm going to be doing both in the same video. You guys have literally been spamming my uh, my diss on Benzino with reactor's name saying at Knox Hill, at Stevie Knight, at No Life Shack. You guys need to go and let them know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post on my Instagram uh, a clip of my diss track. If you guys can go over there and just spam tag all the reactors you want in that one post and try to get them to see it so they can go react to it because I feel like it's being slept on. Maybe go also comment, if you haven't got Instagram, go comment on their videos and just spam, like upvote comments telling people to react to my, to my uh, diss track and stuff like that. And it's uh, let's keep pushing it. We're already at like over 40K views. So I appreciate that a lot because that's organic. Like I didn't, you know, all I did was just make the video and drop it and, and, the, and the algorithm went crazy. You guys went crazy. So I appreciate you guys a lot. Okay, okay, so I, I I don't know why that bar made me laugh. He's like, <laughs> how the fuck are you still alive? Are you a vampire? I mean, he, he is kind of a blood-sucking leech, so it kind of makes sense. And But then he's saying, I'm going to fire at your ghostwriter. So what did he say? Whack your name out, find your ghostwriter, and blam, guy. So and he's going to get it too. Like a hoy, you nigga, wanna know about cash? I'm 7471, oh, look real niggas like less. Lick with crook when he was with shook. And I was strapped with me at Eastwood. Punky pussy niggas when they act up like you. Rhyming nigga, you don't have a clue. I gang banging, you been shot. I've been crazed, nigga. Oh, I done put bad mates on the nigga. So he's saying he's been about since, since uh, crooked. Did he say uh, when linked with crook when he was with Suge? And I was strapped up. So he's he's been about about like the death row days when Crook was with him. That goes way back. So he's been he's been doing this thing for time. Graves, this is true. Graves popping out the cranium like jays when they bloom, nigga. I take chains off lame niggas too. Nigga from 78 then Langley. What's your lame ass go do, nigga? I'm bogus and there's no lost city soul in him. This book is just a troll and he got hope, nigga. He's calling them out for the hotel shit like I did. Having a little shower with, with your boyfriend. So he's saying, I know who I like. He thinks he knows who the ghostwriter is, and he said, I'm gonna get your ass. And he's like, Don't tell, don't ask Paul and M for help because they ain't gonna get me off. You shouldn't have mentioned my name. That, that's the thing, like, that's where Benzino went wrong. He mentioned all the D12, mentioned proof, mentioned Cassius, mentioned Stat Quo, OB Trice. Like, he's looking for problems. Like, if you're mentioning other people. You know, like people are saying, I stepped in for no reason. And I've seen people saying, Cash has stepped in for no reason. But literally, he mentioned his name. Like that, that's fair game, mate. If you're you're saying, where the fuck has Cash has been? He's allowed to come and say, well, I'm right fucking here, bitch. So I don't know what people are talking about. For a minute, huh? Step up out the shade, huh? Hop up in this plane, huh? I'm on your motherfucking ass anyway. Let's get it. Let me break it down. My nigga, he, 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 he. A nigga who lost it all. Go use my name to clown. Bitch. How you like me now, bitch? How you scared to see me eyes to the ground, bitch? I got a next gen on me right now, sweet. Still the same kid that aired out them crabs. He, See no laying on the ground, shit. It's premeditated. I'm heavyweighted. Use a buster. A snake ass, fake ass, bitch ass motherfucker. Uh, this shit's crazy. I'm on my business, man. We not the light. Cause what you like is really your man. See, I'm a nigga, oh. And I can't let down my bigger bro. You step round here, finna go. Got green lights like Oprah Road. Capo. 
See, see. Oh, oh, we're getting a little bit of pasta action. Yeah, so he's saying on that last part, like, I'm about my business. Like, I'm handling my business, unlike you, because you're fucking broke and you're not, you're not getting down the business and doing what you need to do. To me personally, I feel like, you know, this, obviously he's, he's using this situation with M dissing him to do a diss track and to get his name out there so he can make money, which I actually, I respect that because you got to do what you got to do, man. Like life's life. People could talk shit all you want, but if Eminem mentions you in a diss track, like that's a green light and it? it's a green light to, to do a response. I, I don't, I don't hate that at all. The, the only thing that, that pisses me off, which I am going to address in another video, by the way. I'm going to be dropping a video tomorrow talking about... I'm going to break my diss down and talk about the reason why I diss Benzino. And I'm going to... You know, a lot of people have been talking about in the comments, why did I get involved and, and all of this shit. So I'm going to tell you guys the real reason why I got involved. And I'm going to break shit down for you. So, you know, look out for that video. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, well, just 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 get into this next one. Also, he said he snitched earlier. I don't know nothing about that, but if you know, let me know. I got this nigga, Em. Hey, Kirk. Hey, you saying that? Hold on, Em. I got him. Don't worry. I search on Bizzino, but Google went blank. Just pictures of Motel with some nigga he bae. You can love what you love, and I ain't mad, nigga. Sorry, Koi, but your dad is nigga. Where I been at? Say, so, sorry, Koi, but your dad's gay. <laughs> Hey, listen, Benzino, you do you, man. You do you. That's the thing. If like, if you if you just come out and just say, "Hey, listen, I'm gay. So what?" Nobody's gonna say nothing. Like nobody cares. Do you know what I mean? But like, come out and just be a man about it. Just say it. Pitching, getting my digits and still streaming air months so away. Your cash, nigga. I'm a shady king. To live here cost bags, nigga. I push stock my whip. You ride trans, nigga. Can make a whole career off your hold blocks. on, hold on, hold on. He's saying. Hold on a minute. I think that's a bar. Hold up. So I saw something. There was some kind of rumors that he was with a trans person. So he said, like, you, uh, I, I push my whip. You ride trans. So that that could be a thing as, like, maybe public transport. But also, I swear there was a rumor where he was fucking with a, a trans person or something like that. And I swear I saw a clip, he was like, I don't know that person. I've never met that person in my life. But I, I don't know. Let, let me know. You guys need to fill me in because I actually don't know none of this shit. Somebody was telling me as well, there's a video of him in pink panties um, where his girlfriend cheated on him or something and he's out in the street getting arrested by the police with, and he's wearing pink panties or something. I don't know if you guys have seen that. that shit. Mate, if you guys want me to do a video, right? reacting to just funny clips of Benzino doing wild shit like that. Let me know. I'll definitely be down to do it. That's wild. The whole career off your flops are deaf. Mute. Know the sound when Benzino drops. Crickets. <laughs> Niggas a bitch. Pimp, pimp. He's, like, he's like, even a deaf mute knows the sound when Benzino drops. Crickets. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> Niggas a bitch. Pimp, pimp it over. Mentioning and, and just, to, just to point out something as well. Like, the fact that Benzino had a ghostwriter, to be honest, is one of the main reasons I actually wanted to diss him. Because, it like, people were saying it's good. So I was like, ah, oh, okay. So, because that this is why my diss was late, mate. I, I did my diss track within less than 24 hours. I'm talking, like, I wrote it at night at, like, 2 in the morning. I recorded it the next day at, like, 9 in the morning. Mixed it, mastered it. Got Jay to do the artwork, my friend. He, uh, I uploaded it distro, went out, shot the video, and it was up at like five, six o'clock in the afternoon. So what, what's that turnaround? From nine o'clock in the morning, basically, till six o'clock. Took me about an hour or two to write it the previous night. So add that on. That that's what that's what it took me to to do the diss track. So the the reason why I, I wanted to is kind of like a challenge. Like, okay, let me see. Because they're saying that this is so good. Let me debunk everything this motherfucker said. You know? Let's see how good it really is. Because it clearly ain't that good. Because if it was, it's all lies. That's why I was able to debunk everything. Like, if they, if he was just spitting straight facts. Like, you try and come at my diss track. Try and flip it. You can't, because it's just true. Everything I said is true. You can lie. 
You could try to spin shit and twist it and turn it, but at the end of the day, the truth is the truth and it cannot be beaten. It over, Mitchin in a killer, who a fucking smoke. Got the Xeno pack in the doobie. If I put 10 P's on your head, it'll be a movie. I push paper, not peace, nigga. Since the show, I've been smoking no cheap niggas. So light up, this ain't even drop. I feel like I'm beating my pops. But if a dead beat pop shit, his jaw I get socked. This is jazz. <laughs> He's like, I feel like I'm beating my pops, like this old man. Feels like I'm beating on my dad. But if a deadbeat wanna fuck around, he's gonna get his ass popped. Let's go, I beat your fucking ass. Your ghost ride the back door, you snake up in the grass. I can really go in, but I'ma say that shit. Fuck you over and let Charlemagne play that shit. Keep my name out your dentures on Twitter, on Insta. Get popped by he's your like, cousin. So like, keep, keep, not keep my name out your mouth, keep my name out your dentures, you old man. Get popped by your cousin so your family ain't with you The nerve of this nigga start to purge on this nigga I'ma stomp his head while he bite the curb ass nigga This is skill, you step out your body and it's drill See I'm way more active when niggas is getting killed I spit through everybody who they fuck one of mine I'm traumatized, a nigga speak on rob, then he die and I'm traumatized A nigga speak on pack, then he die and I'm traumatized A nigga speak money I'm knowing they won't miss you with my slide I told you if it's up, you gon' have to shoot me, capo Peach, I'm calling out names I was raised by corrupt, you leased off Dave Mays You overgrown, and I'm connected air zone Like a mobile phone, could fetch you up, leave that coke alone My mind fucked up, I came from a broken home I like the coke with drama, so I never leave the smoke alone It's the reason when they diss, they don't say Ramon Zeno went from a made man to a flaming hoe my whole life, I'm 079 crazy. I'm the problem and the hustler. Snipe your ghostwriter, baby. I snipe your ghostwriter. Mate, I want to know who this ghostwriter is. I heard some rumours that it might be... Was it Hitman? Because people were saying there's definitely a bar in there that, that sounds like Cassidy's writing. At least like a bar and like the way he delivered it sounds like Cassidy's writing. But apparently Cassidy had nothing to do with it. But I don't know, like... it. It could have been Hitman, maybe. Hit, what, what's it now? Like Hitman Hollow or something? I swear. But anyway, I hope you guys like that. Uh, my overall thoughts on it was, I know, like, you know, my idea of a diss track is more like what I did, you know, like debunking, like spitting truth. Like, you know, his is more on some gangster shit. Like, hey, listen, you're mentioning my name. If you fuck with me, then I'm going to fuck you up. And, uh... Yeah, he was just this. It was more of a diss track when mine was more of a like a response. That's why I called it like a response. I weren't dissing him as such. Like I'd say, eighty percent of the song wasn't disses. It's just me debunking everything he said. It's just uh, like giving my opinion on stuff. And there were a few little disses thrown in there for fun, like about the hotel stuff and that. That's why I didn't. I didn't really diss him, uh, in my opinion. So yeah, if you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'm going to leave a little clip of my music at the end. So if you guys want to follow me on, on Spotify and stuff, it's DK Rap Artist everywhere. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you for the support. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. My head is going over the lake. I'm used to not having a home. I struggle with knowing that I'm going to die on my own. When you got nowhere, how can you go there? I'm in a place to be cold and the snow air Views can't get shorter, so how can I blow it? I'm on the verge and I know it I came for nothing, I know where I've been Here I go telling my story again Sick of just taking the shit on the chin Fuck it, I think that it's time for a win And all I got is just me and I That's not defeating my hope, I'll just be in my head Take a seat in my phone, you'll be seeing why I'm undefeated You know that I bring it, cause that's who I'll be in life